This video is supported by Dashlane. Ever since I started making industry analysis videos on smartphone, you guys have been asking me my advice on which smartphones to buy. I don't think I'm in the best position to do so, but I do have a fresh perspective that I want to share with you guys. In the smartphone industry, one factor that most consumers take for granted is their geographical location. Where you are will limit your smartphone choices. At least from a statistical point of view, if you're living in the United States, the probability of you having an iPhone is 40%. In China, it's a Huawei. In India, it's more likely to be a Xiaomi. And in the European Union, it's a Nokia seven years ago, but a Samsung in 2018. Despite our desire to be different and to be unique, we tend to fall into this consumerism trap. In pursuit of individuality, we buy the same product. How ironic. However, on the flip side, this also reflects a very fresh perspective that most smartphone vendors know their geographical advantages and they're actively making smartphones based on their targeted geography. For example, OnePlus 6T is a highly anticipated smartphone and its global launch is organized both in the United States and in India. It's a clear message to its audience that despite OnePlus being a Chinese smartphone brand, the United States and the Indian market is of the greatest importance to OnePlus. Samsung, despite being a smartphone brand from South Korea, its smartphone launches are almost every time held in the United States. More and more Xiaomi smartphone launches are held in India, and all Apple smartphone launches are in the United States. It's a clear indication of their target audience and their intended markets. Now, I'm not saying that you should stop watching MKBHD, Dave2D, or any other tech reviewers because specs don't matter. What I'm saying is that specs do matter, but you might not have as much of a choice as you think if you're living in certain parts of the world. Therefore, you need to take your geographical location into consideration when you're buying smartphones because those smartphone vendors who are targeting you definitely takes geography seriously. The newest iPhones have adopted dual SIM for this exact reason. While the rest of the world got one physical dual SIM and one eSIM, China, Apple's second largest market, got a special treatment with two physical SIM card slots. This comes to show how vendors make design decisions based on its target markets. The same reason has led to Vivo, Oppo, Xiaomi not giving up halftone jacks for years despite Apple removing it on its premium smartphones. Therefore, the first benefit of choosing smartphones based on geographical locations is getting smartphone features that are targeted to you. Headphone jacks, dual SIM, expandable storage, to name a few. Another benefit of getting smartphones based on geography is the ease of purchase. In the United States, for example, if you want to buy the newest Vivo or Oppo smartphones, you need to get it shipped from China and bear the risk of getting a faulty product yourself. But if you're buying the same old iPhone, not only do you get finance options from T-Mobile or Verizon, you can go to the store and get it on the same day. Similar in India, because Apple doesn't have great sales there with 2% market share, buying an iPhone in India is not only troublesome, it would be more expensive. While Vivo and Oppo have their stores at every corner of India nowadays, it's much harder to find Apple stores in India and when you find it, you realize that Apple is targeting Indian audiences with older smartphone models like iPhone 6S. In addition to that, companies like Xiaomi and Vivo also launch sales campaigns with local e-commerce websites like Flipkart to target local audiences. This makes the purchase of Xiaomi much easier in India. This is the second benefit. Thirdly, if price is a concern for you, smartphones are not created equal. Price of the same phone varies in different countries. And generally, if a brand is targeting a region, its price for that particular region is lower. For example, according to Android Authority, price of iPhone 7 Plus is the lowest in the United States and is more expensive in India and Brazil. On contrary, if we're looking at mid-range smartphones, people would get better price in China and India than in the United States and Canada price is the cheapest in the targeted markets and higher in less popular markets. There might be a few reasons for this. For example, Xiaomi has built factories in India to help drive down the cost of its phones. This again is a case of price discrimination and why geography should be considered in choosing your next smartphone. So the question naturally becomes this. If geography is so important, should I just buy the best-selling smartphone brand in my country? Huawei in China, Apple in the United States, and Xiaomi in India. 
I think the answer is yes and no. Yes, because those companies are popular in your country for a reason. Having higher marketing budget, better distributional channels and retail stores for you to try out the product, or features like expandable storage that favors local customers. But also no, because although regional champions do give you some idea as to which smartphone brand your friends use, it doesn't mean that the product is right for you. Seeing a Korean restaurant with a long queue doesn't mean that you must like Korean food. The final decision has to be made by you based on the factors that matter most to you. Battery life, screen resolution, operating systems, so on and so forth. So what I wanted with this video is not to say that, hey, you should choose your smartphone based on where you are. I simply want to point out this often neglected truth. However hard we try to escape consumerism and try to be unique, our decision is often at the mercy of the company that sells smartphones, the market conditions, and even where we are. All of us tech enthusiasts watch MKBHD and Dave2D thinking that we can choose from tens of different devices that are launched every year, when in fact, the real choices we have are much more limited than we think. The geographical locations, company's marketing budget, whether or not the company has physical stores in your region, and even finance plans the company has with your local telecommunication companies. All of that adds to your final decisions. Those are things that objectively should not be considered in a perfect world, but in reality, those are things that matter most to your final decision. I don't know if that's a good thing, but at least now you know it. Additionally, regardless of the smartphones you use or the countries you're in, keep your online information safe should be your top priority. Dashlane is a free platform agnostic software that helps you manage and secure your passwords wherever you are. With Dashlane, not only will you not forget a password, you can be sure that they're all securely stored in a virtual vault that you can sync and access with all your devices. Moreover, Dashlane automatically generates strong passwords for your various accounts. Dashlane Premium also comes with a brand new VPN service that keeps your information safe and private on unsecure public Wi-Fi networks. That saved a lot of headaches for me. I'm sure it will do the same for you as well. So to support Curious Elephant and never worry about information security ever again, sign up for Dashlane with a link in the description down below for free. Our friends at Dashlane also sent us a 10% discount code, so be sure to use Curious Elephant when you decided to upgrade to their premium services.